But first, the shortage of builders is forcing companies to pay up to £1,000 a week to foreign workers. They say the problem is even more acute in London, with so many construction projects currently underway here. With the details, here's Ben Lewis. There's a construction boom. But a shortage of bricklayers, so employers are having to recruit from the continent. We get a lot of Eastern Europeans. Most of the bricklayers in London now are coming retired. Um, and basically it's a young man's game and uh, there's just not enough people out there, basically. A survey by employment group Manpower found a third of London's large construction firms have had to turn down bidding opportunities because of a lack of skilled workers. This despite the soaring wages on offer, which are high enough to tempt tradespeople from abroad. The average earning of a bricklayer, for example, of £500 a week, which now, at this time in the year, that's risen to £1,000 a week. London's really suffering from the skill shortage. There's a boom of construction, and everywhere you look, you see cranes, and the pressure on pay is really strong to be able to attract construction workers into the industry to get the job done. The research found employment prospects in the building industry are at their highest since 2007. It's thought that many construction companies brought a halt to their in-house training programs during the economic downturn, leading to this current skills shortage. But there are programs out there trying to fill this newly created gap in the market. Don't over tighten anyone at any one time. At this disused Southwark office block, young people who need assistance finding a job are taught the basic tools of the trade in the hope they'll eventually be able to take the high-paying construction jobs on offer. I find it frustrating when there are lots of young people in this country, but they haven't, as I said, they haven't been told what the industry's about, and I think we need to enable and, through procurement, encourage maybe employers to think about taking on young people from this country too. Put plenty of paint on your brush, but don't let it drip. But with such training taking months, even years, the skills crisis won't be solved overnight. Ben Lewis, ITV News.